Hi! Today on Limits Test, we're going to learn about entropy. It's a really big thing, really strange thing, and it's really complicated. But there's a lot of simple ways to look at it. So let's take a look. Order and chaos. This type of entropy is pretty simple. These are all organized, so they have very low entropy. These are kind of all over the place, so they have a lot higher entropy. And these are all over the floor. Look at that. That's a lot of entropy. Energy distribution. This means that the entropy is very low if the energy is very high. This log could become a lot of different things. So the energy is very high and the entropy is very low. When you cut the log up, you make planks. These planks all together can become a lot, but one plank doesn't have the same amount of potential as one log. The energy is spread out among all the planks, and so the entropy is a bit higher. And when you use the planks to make a piece of furniture, then that piece of furniture has a lot less energy than the plank did, because it can't be used to make a whole lot, and you had to do a lot of work to get it. So the entropy is much higher. Statistical. This one's the weirdest but a lot of scientists think it's the most important. The idea is, if you can have something in a lot of different spaces, and it doesn't matter where, that tells you how much entropy it has. This way you can measure the entropy. This entropy has a pretty low value, because there's only so many places for the wool to be. But if we look, here, there's a lot more places, because now the yellow wool can be in spots, and we can switch them around. And now the red wool can be in those spots, but it doesn't matter where they are. If we look at this chest, there are three bits of wool. So the entropy keeps going up and up, and in this chest, there's a lot more spaces for them to be in. All of these chests, and in fact, if we throw them on the floor, we'll see that the entropy is really high here, because all of these chests and the, on the floor share the same thing. They're messy. It doesn't really matter where they are, they're still a mess. And a mess is a mess, no matter what. But if you were to organize the wool, there might be different ways to organize it. This has low entropy because it's organized. They're organized by color. Here, they're organized alphabetically. Blue, cyan, all the way down to yellow. And here, they're organized numerically. 1, 4, 5, all the way up to 13 and 14. It's how a computer would do it. It doesn't matter which system of organization you use, so long as they're not a big mess. So there you go, entropy. It's kind of complicated, but there's a lot of ways to look at it that make it really simple. It's really important and can be used a lot in science, math, engineering, even languages. You can use entropy to determine how secure your password is, or is a secret code really a secret code, or just a bunch of gibberish. You can use entropy to determine how much work a machine might do, like the engine in your car, or whether a chemical reaction is going to go forward, backward, or just not happen at all. Entropy is a really big thing, but there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So I've been Litmus. Thanks for watching. If you liked, please give us a like, a comment, or even share or subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.